The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, I have the OGs. That's right. Orgasm givers. That's right. That's what we are. First, he is ladies. The, he is the only two-time uh, funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, which is kind of frowned upon. Uh, please welcome it's not the wreck, Mister Derek Alden. It's funniest person. It's laughed on. <laughs> that's true, or and, at least chuckled. That's right. And uh, you guys all love him. He is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mister Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> Fuck you, Steve Peters. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit, I, you had something come up last minute. Yeah. Make me have to do this bullshit. Steve and, Peters owes me money, and the juice is running. <laughs> yeah. He owes me something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we had the whole plan that Steve was going to be on the episode tonight, and sometimes, you know, when bad things happen, good things come out of it. He can't zoom? No. <laughs> Not probably where he's at. Unfortunately, a, a very good uh, dog friend of his, um, they are having a, a farewell party for him this evening. And, uh, yeah, so I, I get that. I mean, I would never do that to my dogs, I don't think. But I mean, you know. did they have to schedule it for podcast night? <laughs> I guess so, Jeremy. <laughs> the party, you know, on the same night as the podcast. It's a P. P for podcast, P for party. Get it? Where's he going? Where, where's this dog going? <laughs> uh, the going to college? Rainbow Bridge. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. That Mario was the name Kart. of Jimmy Pardo's high school band. <laughs> Rainbow Bridge? Uh-huh. That's awesome. Ah, uh, shit. But anyways, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to a Laughing on the uh, pod, or Laughing on the Sidelines podcast... Jesus, did him Jesus not being Christ. here just throws a monkey wrench in everything, <laughs> it's, it doesn't it? It does. It did, does. Did you manage that band? I wish I would have. <laughs> I couldn't get that contract as I had not been born yet. Oh. <laughs> God. i got to work on that. Yeah. Otherwise, should, right? otherwise, I'd have been there. Yeah. Uh, this, if this is the very first time you listen to Laughing on the Sidelines, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where you like to use foul language and offend people who have thin skin. So if that's you, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and bye. Well, I made it back alive, gentlemen. Yeah. From oh, good call. from from where? I'll get there. Uh, we've got a great show. <laughs> Way to leave it on a fucking cliffhanger, dude. You're, you're that's welcome. a real tease. <laughs> yeah, I know. And uh, a letdown. I know. We've got headlines, never have I ever. That's where I draw the line. Bad advice with Jeremy is back, and questions and preguntas, a draft, and as always, a shitty situation to wrap things up. But we're going to kick off this show with uh, the week, week recap, which, you know, what's been going on to, with us over the last couple of weeks. I went on vacation, and uh, I've got to say, this is the first time I feel my age. This one hurt. Yeah. Uh huh. I didn't break anything. I did. Uh, I did eat shit a couple of times, but uh, I did go sixty-two point five miles per hour on the new board. I don't know where you went or whatever, so I'm taking oh. all this literally. <laughs> I went snowboarding. Uh, you charity. didn't. You you ate shit a couple I, of times. Yeah, yes, I did. So you for breakfast? To... Sure. I mean, all right. It was early in the day. I mean, that's <laughs> a weird vacation. That's what me and Shooter McGavin both do, actually. Eat shit. No, he specifically said no. (laughs) (laughs) So clearly he does not. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, No, I went snowboarding, Jeremy. I went to Angel Fire, New Mexico, uh, Mm. and got to try out all the cool new shit that I have. uh, But the board was the most important. And God 
damn it, that thing is fucking fast. I bet Jeremy can make you a faster one. <laughs> he probably could. I, I bet I could. Uh, yeah, probably. I'd put a motor on it. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be like Dutch because you'd have wooden bindings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could. Uh, uh, it was awesome, though. Now, how much nicer did they make some renovations over old Mexico? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they did. All right. So yeah, they, they cleaned did. the place up. Clean the place more up. More modern, computerized, That's all that. Us in some places, though. Sure. Huge, some... huge border crisis at New Mexico. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Everybody's trying to either get in or out. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, you got it both ways. Yeah. Um, but yeah, even uh, even people actually came up and knew what board I had and was asking like like they they could recognize, which I thought you know these are those kind of people. Yeah, douchebags. No, oh. <laughs> cool fucking mountain people. New Mexicans. That's <laughs> <laughs> dirty, filthy New Mexicans. <laughs> and Texans. They flock there because that's the closest mountain, and there was no snow on the ground, but there were still two-wheel drive trucks with chains on their tires. They're called Texicans. Texicans. That's probably what mm. they were. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to bore you guys because I know you guys don't give a shit about the, the whole snowboarding thing, but I do want to give a shout-out. Luke Olson left me a very nice message. He even said I, I annoyed the shit out of him when, he ta- when I talk about my snowboard and my bindings and all that shit. But if I didn't talk about it, he would not have actually gone on his very first ski trip. And he said it was an amazing, amazing time. And so good for him. And thanks so for that. You've nice doomed message. him to a lifetime of one of the most expensive hobbies. <laughs> That's right. That one could possibly imagine. A hundred percent. If you rent shit, it's not too bad. It's when you buy shit. That's when it's really expensive. You eat shit. I do. Yeah. I three do. times. <laughs> That's right. I thought just twice. Uh, two times. I, I mainly two. Now, now he did. You hear his opening? Yeah. That's three. I've okay. Three. Fair yeah. Enough. yeah. Yeah. That's good. Uh, but other than that, man, uh, I just f- like the whole area there in New Mexico. There's not a lot going on. It's the mountain. There's three mountains in the same area, and that's pretty much it. They did have a dispensary, though. They did have a dispensary. They also have the Breaking Bad house, and that yeah. lady hates people. <laughs> yeah. Holy <laughs> shit, does she hate people. I bet so. Man. Oh, God. She has, like, all this shit around her house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Telling people to, like, that even if you even look at it, like, get the oh. fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh. I, I would imagine that that house, that that brought such a relief because the there's somebody who lives in the house that was the outside shot for the Brady Bunch house. Mm. that that used to be like the go-to we're going to take our picture in front of this fucking house and there's it's it's changed hands several times and nobody's actually capitalized on that fact that it's the brady bunch house really yeah oh man the the home alone house people do it all the fucking time so they got so annoyed they put a, they put an actual locked fence around it so you can't like jump i over. think that's just because they're rich probably i think this lady has heads on pikes <laughs> yeah <laughs> all probably. the way around it yeah sure yeah. I, I put a, a <clears throat> fence and a lock gate around my house just for, you know, the, the T-ball fans. <laughs> rabid, yeah, rabid T-ball fans. That's great. Um, but, yeah, other than, other than the drive, everything else was great. Uh, I did come home with some gummies. So uh, if you're interested, Jeremy. I'm uh, on a low-carb diet. No, thanks. <laughs> okay. and last time I ate a gummy, I wound up writhing in pain on your fucking living room floor. So. <laughs> There's three more right there if you want. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Take, we'll take uh, one with you. Good but for them. Anyways, <laughs> that's that's my week uh, in a nutshell. But Derek, how have you been, bud? Ah, uh, well, alive, so not good. Yeah, uh, yeah that's all right. I did comedy. I haven't done comedy since the contest. Yeah, uh, that I won for the second time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had to sit through a piece of shit. <laughs> Uh, no, I, d- I did do comedy. I went down to Topeka uh, and had lo- headlined a place called uh, Cosmos Court. Stop. I, why do you say that every time? I what? went down to Topeka. It is up. I was going to say something, but I didn't. Up. Everything I, is down to me, bro. Because it, you, I mean, that's because, because he's up on high. It's because I'm above all of you. He's right, on a yeah. pedestal. He looks down I went on down Topeka. To Topeka. Yeah. He looks down on North Dakota, man. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, whenever, Fargo can fuck itself. <laughs> yeah, it can. <laughs> I I've been saying that for years. I even say, I don't even say down or up to New Mexico, but I just go, we, we went over to New Mexico is what I say, because it's just west. Why are you they them and me, man? I don't know. Here's, here's, the, here's the thing is, I was actually going to call you on this, Derek, and then I remembered I'm not a raging prick. Appreciate that. I'm not a fucking douchebag who feels the need to just be a jackass at every fucking turn. A guy who apparently goes on vacation and eats shit twice, <laughs> maybe three times. Yeah, it's true. I'm sorry. You can continue. 
Can I? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Cosmos Court. Uh, I last minute, like Thursday night, they messaged me and asked me if their headliner canceled. So that always makes you feel good. <laughs> <laughs> well, except they're wanting you to now be the headliner. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, true. it's not like they're wanting you to host. Yeah. So I ended up doing that. Uh, I hadn't been on stage in four months mm -hmm. and did very well. Good. Which was nice. Uh, New material. Some okay. Uh, I was go a, down on stage. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I actually again as soon as I got back a couple days later got asked to do uh, Vorchez here this weekend. Nice. So mm -hmm. I did Friday and Saturday night at Vorchez. Uh, Friday was a fucking interesting day at my job. Oh, great. Uh, uh, let's just say I work with the public. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's let's lead in with that. Uh, I had a gentleman had come in uh, and said uh, needed some help. And, uh, well, let's just say I, I work at a bank. Yeah, you okay? said that before. Yeah, I work at a bank. A guy came in and needed to open an account. And uh, as soon as he gets done opening the account, he's like, do you have a restroom I can use? And he's just a little weird, right? He's like, can I just deposit and then withdraw everything? And I'm like, why the f No. <laughs> like, let it sit for a couple of days. That way the account doesn't, like, flag and automatically close because it's open and now there's no money in it. Right. And he's like, okay. I said, maybe we should just wait. Like, well, let's. Why, why don't we wait like uh, until like the funds are a little more available for you? And he's like, no, let's just go ahead and open it. And I'm like, okay. So I'm taking his deposit, and he's like, you have a restroom I can use? And I'm like, yeah, it's right down here. And so I go make his deposit for him. He's in the bathroom for like ten fucking minutes. Keep in mind, beforehand, he went to an ATM machine or ATM to withdraw money, which was about a twenty second walk to the ATM, and he was gone for like fifteen minutes. Oh boy! And I'm like, it's towards the end of the day at this point. Like we close at five. He showed up at 4.15. He gets out of the bathroom at like 4.55. So he's in there for like 10 minutes. Comes in. I finish this, out. This would indicate that he has a bank account somewhere, somewhere else, else already yes. with money in it. Yes. Yeah. So he's in the bathroom. He comes out of the bathroom. Uh, I said, hey, here's your receipt. I explained like how to do the online stuff to him. And I was like, is there anything else I can help with? Do you have any questions? And he's like, no, you've been more than helpful. And I was like, all right. And he leaves. And a few seconds later, one of the other bankers comes up to me, and he's like, dude, I think that guy was doing heroin in the bathroom. <laughs> and I was like, shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> you know, like, I work at a bank, and it's not even on the south side of Wichita. No, this is like, a it's in a good town. It's a yeah. good side of town. And he's like, uh, I go, he's like, yeah, man, it smells like straight fucking burnt rubber down that hallway. And my dad always said that heroin smells like burnt rubber. And I'm like, how does your dad know what yeah. heroin smells like? <laughs> Boy, that's a that's a conversation for a different time. I mean, that, yeah. Yeah, like I, I you're remember. not even interested in this guy anymore. Tell me about your dad. Like I don't ever remember getting that talk about like the birds and the bees and how black tar heroin <laughs> smells like burnt rubber and Nirvana was the greatest band of all time. I never got that talk. So I go and it sure is fuck. I walk past just near that hallway, and I mean it smells like someone had sat there and just peeled out for fucking 45 50 seconds just smoke rolling oh, off tires no. and i was like son of a bitch and i so either that guy so we called our security uh, officer and he was like that's probably black tar heroin so either that guy was doing black tar heroin or he is very active in the gay sex community <laughs> and had an orgy while i was like in 10 minutes that's crazy snuck them all in through the back door and then again through the back door wow so yeah i don't know but that was fucking crazy wow yeah. I've never had that happen before. No. I've worked <laughs> at a lot of fucking places. I worked at bars. That's right. With homeless problems. Uh-huh. No black tar heroin. <laughs> <laughs> I used to manage black tar neosporin. <laughs> <laughs> but they had a whole different vibe. They didn't bank. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, then I was sitting there thinking, like, what? well, fuck. Like a hair, that's a pretty responsible heroin addict. <laughs> sure yeah, is. You know what it I mean? It seems like it. A checking account. <laughs> Oh, fuck. And they're like, what if I just witnessed the middle of the relapse? Like, if he's like, you know what? I'm going to fucking start doing my own thing. I'm going to become an adult. I'm going to kick this heroin bullshit. All right, just sign here. Hey, you got a restroom I can use. <laughs> like, <laughs> this has been a really traumatic experience. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, the only thing that could have made that any more fucking better is if, like, fucking heart-shaped box was playing on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I mean, think about that. I mean, banks are like the most secure places in the world. Yeah. yeah. 
you're going to be seen on camera at least <laughs> One, seven yeah. times. Uh-huh. And there's probably security guards, if not actual police, yeah. in there. That's ballsy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we I, ma- we mailed him a check for his hundred bucks back and said you could just have that. Yeah. We're good. He's we gonna he's gonna be need. in the new movie, Oceans Fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Where's he gonna cash it? <laughs> he's got at, no account at our bank. Yeah. Oh. He probably <laughs> at his other bank where yeah. he's got his account. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really, uh, you did. You closed his account. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wow. wow. Yeah, you you just did heroin in our bathroom. <laughs> you <That's>... think, allegedly, <laughs> <laughs> prove it. Uh, shit. Anything else you do for fun? No, just uh, heroin watching. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> that's bad. Good I'm glad you continued with watching. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no shit. Just heroin. Well, I'm learning how to do it. I got to work the courage up. Sure. Yeah. Well, you uh, should have asked if you could go to the bathroom. Next time somebody asks to use the restroom, ask if you can go with them. Yeah. <laughs> I got to see how this is done. I think from now on, I'm like, you're not going to do heroin in there, are you? <laughs> Some fucking 85 year old lady. You have a restroom I can use? <laughs> you're not going to do heroin in there, are you, Gladys? <laughs> got to ask. Company policy. That's right. Uh, all right. Well, Jeremy Joseph. Yeah. You've been gone for a while, buddy. I have been. Not long enough. No, it's all right. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for uh, being an awesome dude. Nice. Good to see you. Yep. Good night, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So what have you been up to, man? Uh, I've been playing a little bit of poker. Really? Um, we know a guy. We all three know a guy who uh, runs a business that they may or may not play poker in sometimes. Mm-hmm. Oh, you've and been they going have there? Uh, some. Yeah, they got some tournaments there, and I've played in three of them, and I've either won or split in all three of them. Wow! So uh, that's Good for been you. fun. Last one um, I played a couple weeks ago, uh, my Roy or my straight flush lost to his straight flush. Was it on the board? No, I had oh. two of them, and he had one of them. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty good. It's bad. That was not good. I lost. Oh, oh that's right. They don't have a bad beat back jackpot, do they? Not on tournaments. Ah, oh, fuck. That sucks. Well, well, go ahead. Anyway. Uh, anyway, so that's been going on. Then uh, there's been some some big changes oh, at the house. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, starting off with one I think you guys will really care about. I got a new table saw. Well, Ooh. new to me, anyway. Okay. Uh, I found a kick-ass deal on a used uh it's a saw stop yeah which is like one of the top brands on the market uh they're the ones if people have never seen if any part of your skin ever touches the blade it like locks up the blade and sucks it down into it it's basically the safest table saw on the market and it has already tried to kill me (laughs) you had to lift it for real no (laughs) no um were you like testing it out like (laughs) yeah no no shit well see okay (laughs) that's a yes (laughs) yeah well, no, that won't kill you. That just you lose an appendage. Um, no, it'll stop. But when it comes to testing that feature, the the thing is, is that the the brake cartridge for it is a one time. Once it trips, mm-hmm. it's fucked, and it ruins your saw blade. Oh shit! So the cartridges are about eighty bucks a piece. A good woodworking, you know, table saw blade. You're looking at fifty, sixty bucks. Um, so yeah, I've only tested it once because <laughs> there's there's something about having an, a, a child's mindset but grown up money, <laughs> and it works. I can tell you that. <laughs> but see, for people who don't know about basically the mechanics of a table saw, there's a blade that comes up out of the table and it spins. You know, the the teeth come up out of the back side of the blade and they come up over and then go down into the table on the front. And when you're pushing your your piece of wood through there, uh, if it's a small piece of wood, especially you want to use like a push stick or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you want to make sure that you push it till it clears the back side of the blade. And I didn't. And what happens is that the teeth on the back end of the the blade will pick up that piece of wood. This was a four inch by four inch piece of wood and throw it at you. And not only throw it at you, like faster than you can blink. It's, uh, I did the math on mine. It it all depends on what model you have, what the RPMs are, but on mine, about 180 miles an hour. And that's no shit, right? Right in the fucking chest. Luckily, it hit me broadside. I know the exact orientation because it left a fucking bruise right there. Fuck. Oh, it it was so painful that it didn't register for like 30 seconds. It was more just, did that just fucking happen? (laughs) 
Did that leave an exit wound? What? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so. Oh, fuck. Safety first is what I'm trying to say, folks. Right, that's right. Oh, that's fucking great. Every time that's you use awesome. a table saw, hands at 10 and 2. <laughs> I believe that's how that works. <laughs> um, right. Another big change uh, that's happened at our house this last week. We got a new puppy. Yes. Is it a, is it a wolf? Are you going to teach him how to play outfield? Oh, he sucks. I can already tell you, he's got <laughs> no chop. He'll be double A at best. <laughs> <laughs> you got to ride that thing, man. Yeah. I can. It's a big enough fucking dog. <laughs> I, I use the term puppy very loosely. He's he's eight months old and he, he's eighty nine pounds. Jesus, right Christ. now I took him to the vet today to get checked out because uh, we need to get him in to get uh, fixed because he fucks everything. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the thing: is okay. I don't know if it's just how social that dogs are or whatever, but. He drug his bed from our bedroom into the living room in front of the TV and then fucked it for 45 minutes straight. <laughs> and it's like, oh, God, as disturbing as it is to watch, he's still very much a puppy. And this is like the few seconds that we get where he's not fucking with us because he's still got puppy energy very much just in horse size <laughs> and uh he's a, a half golden retriever half bernie's mountain dog he's very cute he's very sweet and friendly but he thinks everybody wants a hug and a hump <laughs> and, um he actually hasn't tried to hump people yet we haven't had him around too many people yet but uh i've been doing a lot of walking with him just to try and work out some of the energy and then he works out the rest on his own, <laughs> him, and, him and that big fucking mattress of his. Um, oh. Yeah, we're going to... I I hope it's because he holds one end of it in his mouth, because if you step on it, it squishes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. oh, no. I'm pretty sure, because that's the thing, like, you can't tell by looking at me, but I am covered head to toe in dried slobber. Because <laughs> one of the puppy things he does, he still, like, mouths at you to yeah. get attention. Only this big bastard will put your whole fucking hand in his mouth. <laughs> he doesn't bite. He just... Oh. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, I can, You're I training can show him well. you. I don't, I don't know if you can put a picture up yeah, I'll put, on the I'll YouTube I'll put, I'll put, deal. I will. Um, I can yeah, show you this. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to show it because I, I want to point something out here. Um Let's see. This is this is him being lazy up on the couch. Yeah. Now, is it March and that's still a big fucking Christmas tree up in the background? <laughs> you bet your fucking ass it is. <laughs> oh, and I bet you when I'm not shit. looking, he's fucking that thing too. But <laughs> but he's uh, he's just the sweetest thing ever, and we're very glad to have him. Oh, good. And then uh, probably the biggest thing going on in my life. Um, I am about to utter a sentence that this may be the only time in your lives you ever hear this sentence out of anybody. Uh, my wife and I are officially engaged to be married. Holy fuck! Yeah. What? What? Yeah, that's uh, that's weird to say about your wife. <laughs> uh, no, my, my wife and I have been together for over 20 years now. Uh, we were both married before. Um, we're... We've always just been common law. I mean, Kansas recognizes common law marriages. And once you start cohabitating and like have mail delivered to the same place and share bills and shit like that, it, they basically consider you married. But from a federal standpoint, it, they don't. But she's been kind of hinting lately that she would actually like it to be more official. Plus, she's getting about five years from retirement age. And so there's like, you know, Benefits. insurance benefits stuff to, to work out to make it official so uh yeah we're probably not going to have like a wedding wedding would we'll probably be a courthouse thing but then we'll have like a big party afterwards uh the thing is by the time go? well here's the thing <laughs> by the time we get derek and his wife and derek's folks and <laughs> and her folks and their extended families and your wife scotty and her <laughs> extended family i mean there's just not going to be any room i'll let you know if something changes okay but you know if if that happens um 
you know, I'll uh, probably not let you know. I'll, <laughs> you know who's not coming? Steve fucking Peters. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> Steve fucking Peters ain't coming. Oh, man. He'll have Jerry. something come up at the last minute. Well, like, I'm, I'm very happy for you. Finally, I, finally doing I it after 20 years. I appreciate that. You yeah. Gotta, you got to get a prenup, dog. That for sure. Why? She's got way more shit than I do. <laughs> She's been fucking carrying us for 20 years. Do you want her to end up with that George Brett ball? <laughs> Good point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good point. She's been eyeing my autograph picture of Tom Selleck for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh fuck! <coughs> All right. Here's here's the, what's what's weird. I spent more on this ring than I ever thought I'd spend on a ring in my life. However, I saved some money on it by. Have you guys know about these like lab grown diamonds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Molecularly, they are the exact, exact same, same thing, but they're about half the price, which is she had no problem with that. And for me, I would have actually paid more to know that it wasn't like conflict diamonds or whatever. You right. Know? Oh, see, I want blood diamonds. Oh, all the man. I, well, and that's... Be that's, quiet. That's, <laughs> no, that's, that, that's what... That is such a weird thing that people are like, oh, if this didn't come at the hands of human suffering, I don't <laughs> want it. I'll pay twice as much. That's what I'm saying. If this, if this came at the crack of a whip. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why I only wear Nikes. <laughs> sure. That's right. <laughs> That's why I have an iPhone, Jeremy. That's uh-huh. right. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Uh, well, congratulations, Jeremy. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, lots going to change now. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you. Yeah, like the ownership of that fucking Tom Selleck photo. <laughs> yeah. yeah no, well, not if we get that prenup you were talking about. Yeah, that's right. Uh, or man. you can see if you can get him to personalize it. She won't want it then. Uh, yeah. To Jeremy. Yeah. He's. Th- I mean, for what the way I went out of my way for this fucking ring... Oh, yeah. Yeah, she should. <laughs> you should invite him to the wedding. I personalized the shit. I, I actually designed the ring. Really? Myself, yeah. Good for you. All right. So that's everybody's weeks. Is that right? My, it's more than a week. More than a yeah. couple of weeks. Okay. Yeah. That'll work. One, one thing I did not do was eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> not even once, let alone multiple times. Uh, yeah, it happens. Is uh, it? Yeah. But uh, anyways, we're going to move on with the very few <laughs> headlines that we have. Uh, first one, Jason Kelsey retires from the National Football League. Uh, I do that for Jason, not for Travis. I love Jason Kelsey, but not so much Travis. Uh, okay. I, I want to party with Jason Kelsey. I, fucking great fucking guy. Don't want to be seen in the same fucking, like, within a mile of his little brother, though. What do you got against him? Um, kind of a douchebag, Dayton Taylor fucking Swift. And, uh, you know. You, you wouldn't hit that? No, I yes, would crush would. that. Nah. Yes, you would. I mean, yeah, I would, but you know, it, it is what it is. I just think he's a douchebag, and she yeah. seems like a, actually a decent person. She, that, she really is. Like the, the whole thing is, it's it's so much more about the NFL and the announcers. Yeah, putting so much attention on it that it took away from the game. One hundred percent. Well, he also kind of reminds you of a guy that roofies chicks at parties. <laughs> <Like> that's... <laughs> Yeah, a little. Tra- he Travis. does. He one hundred percent does. Absolutely. And it turns out that's her thing. <laughs> <laughs> she, she liked it. She can shake it off. That's right. Um, that's so a Taylor she, Swift song. I that's see what right. she did there. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yep. It's the only go. one I know. Uh, <laughs> then uh, the other thing that happened, at least in the NFL, is the Denver Broncos release Russell Wilson, which means they lost eighty-five million dollars in cap space for the Broncos. That didn't happen. Push the button. Didn't, didn't do that. Um, We're getting ready to cut you. I know. Fucking keep screwing that up. My bad. Um, that's really fucking bad for them. I don't think Russell's that bad. I don't either. I don't either. And, he was and terrible a year ago. The reason why they're parting ways with him is so fucking ridiculous. It is. That, what is it? They want him to do away with the uh, injury insurance clause on yeah. his contract? <sighs> yeah. Every fucking... Basically, established NFL player has that, that guaranteed money. Yeah, exactly. Especially a starting quarterback. Right. I think they want to like <clears throat> take his fucking knee out. And they're like, ah, well, sorry, can't pay you now. Exactly. Well, and now you <clears throat> basically ensured he gets guaranteed money. Yeah. So you might as well let him play. Exactly. It's, it's just a whole clusterfuck, and it's because I've heard Sean Payton and him do not like each other. That's what I've basically been told. I could see nobody liking him. He Sean seems, Payton? No. Uh, or Russell. Russell Wilson. Yes. He seems like an incredibly unlikable person. He he, he definitely does. But, um, God damn it, just releasing him like that? Because now what they're going to have to do, they're going to have to 
is they're going to try to get as high of a draft pick as they possibly can. And there will be, I bet you there's six quarterbacks that go boom, 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 boom. <laughs> when this Good should job. let you Thanks. know I had to count. just how much money there is in the NFL. 100%. I mean, and somebody can just go, yeah, 85 million. Fuck it. <laughs> it's Try ridiculous. It. You know, enough to feed a small nation. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, there's so much. There's that much money. You there's a ton of money in the NFL. You would not think they would leave those games to chance. Uh, <laughs> just right. Um, but other than that, <clears throat> I didn't have a whole lot of stuff going. I, I was on vacation. We had a TV, but I didn't watch it. It was snowboard. Okay, you lost bit. twice this week. You did tell me that. Yeah. You did tell me that. I'm very happy about that particular situation. They're down into the teens now. That's awesome. They're going to get back on their winning track tonight. Oh, God. I got a I, feeling. K-State already beat them once. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's their once. That's their one good thing they've done this year. That's okay. And KU's <laughs> best players out still. I was so much on the Jerome Tang train last year. God, he needs to go. What? what? Dude, they were up against TCU by, what was it, 24 at halftime, and mm-hmm. the game went into overtime. They still won. It's big fucking deal. So? You blow a 24-point halftime fucking lead against a team you're done. And they, they blew it because they just quit playing. Right. That's on a coach. <clears throat> okay. He doesn't have the guys ready to play. He's a five-leg table? He's he's the fifth leg. Fifth leg of the table. Gotcha. I mean, that'd be impressive if he was a five-legged table <laughs> and could coach. If his nickname has never been Poon, I'll be very upset. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> um, but that's with a P, by the way. That's right. Yes. Um, but other than that, I mean, as far as sports go, that's really all I paid it or got to see today. But there was one question. Or actually, there are two <coughs> questions that are sports related and comedy related that I figured I kind of want to ask your guys' opinion too. Number one, uh, while we're on sports, Kate and Knapp wanted to know what we actually think are the most difficult sports to play. Well, Kate and Knapp needs to mind his fucking business. That's right, buddy. That's Shut, right. Keep it to your fucking self, all right? <laughs> no, but what do you think? What do you think the hardest sport to play is? Rugby. Really? I would say. I don't think so. It's got to be baseball. No. It's got to be. You get your ass beat in rugby. That's true. But, I mean, when you're talking about pitching stats, hitting stats, you're in the Hall of Fame if you get a hit like three out of ten times. No, I get that. You're one of the best hitters, actually, of all time if you do that consistently. But you could take any normal guy, and I can go up and strike out. But if you're going to put me at the bottom of a fucking dog pile at rugby, I'd rather go face a guy that's throwing 95 as long as he doesn't hit me and I strike out. Big fucking deal. That's the other thing. I just, that ball's moving. How about yeah, you? What, what are we talking? What constitutes hard? Yeah. Like like the most difficult sport to to be like really good at. I don't think it's rugby. There are people that play rugby in Wichita, and and I'm not because I mean impressed. like we all played baseball at some level at some point. Yeah. I pitched recently. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. One hop that mound though, did or that uh, plate though, didn't you? I saw straight fire. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, but I hummed it in. That's it. Yeah, it's right. You did, and it was it was a uh, it was supposed to be. Yeah. It was a sinker. It was a sinker. That's right. And it, and when it bounced, it was a strike. It like, was a, it was it, a, it wasn't. It went off to the okay. to the right. Okay, right. it was a chase pitch. He was trying to get him to chase. That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah, because there's no doubt I had two strikes on him. That's it was, right. It was an own two count, <laughs> without a fucking doubt. Yeah, and. I was just anticipating that this new fucking dog would go chase it down. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize he hadn't been born yet. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... I mean, it, which one's the hardest? But, but I mean, like, this is what I'm saying. You don't necessarily have to be major league level okay. to play a sport. I'm thinking, like, pole vaulting. <laughs> okay. Because... Fat people I mean, aren't doing much of that. Even if you can do it a little... <laughs> You're really fucking good. Yeah, that's true. I, I have always been dazzled, especially when they show it in slow motion by pole vaulting. Yeah. The confidence that you have to have to run up, make sure you got that pole planted right, then kick your feet up above your head and just trust that you've put enough on that <laughs> to zing you up over the pole. Yeah. Over the bar. I would give I would give two grand to Derek or to Derek if he could pole vault. 
I'll fuck it. I'm not going to do a good job, but let's go get a fucking stick. <laughs> gotta Come get, on. Got to get over the got to get over the bar. What, we didn't say how high it had to be. Uh, that's not that's I'm making the bet here. No, you well, already it, made the bet. It's got to be like actual <clears throat> with pole vault form too. Yeah. It can't be that shit that we all did like over a small stream when we were little kids. <laughs> that's right. Where you take a big stick and just kind of ride it over. Yeah. You I, got a vault. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty good. I actually, I kind of like that. I, I I will go with that. What do you think, Derek? You said rugby. Yeah, do but you if really? you're not going to give me that, then I'm going to go with caper toss. Cape? What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what yeah, are, it's a that? Scottish sport where they throw the big log end over oh, end. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I've seen that. I didn't know what it was called, but yeah. yeah. I nice. Yeah, I think that would be pretty hard. Okay. Especially since you got to do it in a skirt. Right. <laughs> Of well, you got to have freedom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. You got to yell that whenever you, you throw gotta, it. Yeah. You got to have the blue and, and yeah. white makeup. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, and then the other question related to uh, comedy. This comes in from Bradley Hovland or Hovland. He wants to know uh, what are some of the rookie mistakes you wish you would have known uh, not to do whenever you started comedy? So what were some rookie, th- rookie mistakes that you made that you wish you would have known not to do those? I never made a mistake. This is on true. Stage, I mean, ever. it's fucking true. I mean, I'm a two time winner. Of this this, <laughs> this, this is funny. Yeah. This contest. You think this I made true. fucking mistakes, Scotty? Hey, I, you don't become a champion. That's true. A two time champion making mistakes. Yeah, I've I've picked up on a couple of them. I've heard don't wear shorts uh, is a big. Well, that's just kind of a rule. Like a rule. Okay. Yeah. Don't wear your hat forwards. Uh, oh yeah, because then it blocks your eyes. Can't see your face. That's right. Way to go, John Caparulo. Uh, mic stand, move it, move it out of the way. Mm-hmm. Unless you're actually using it. Yeah. Um, Talk into the fucking microphone. True. Yeah. There's there's certain just rules of etiquette. Respect the light. Okay. Don't do someone else's jokes. Yeah, that's a big. Oh one. yeah, that's a it, big one. The one and only year I entered the Wichita's Funniest Person contest, there was a gal who made it through to the semifinals. Who. She this was like her first time ever going up on stage, and she had a guitar with her and all this and that, and she was so nervous, and I was giving her just little tidbits of advice and stuff, and then I watched her set, and because I was more worried about her doing well and was like so impressed when she did well that it didn't dawn on me that she did an entire word-for-word Bo Burnham set. What the fuck? And it's like, well, yeah, no wonder she fucking crushed. Right. She's doing the material (laughs) of a, you know, nationally touring, headlining comedian who sells out theater. Yeah, of course she did well. Absolutely. Uh, But um, I would say learning how to read the room. Okay, that's a good one. I have one that you taught me, and I'll never do comedy, but you, you have very specifically talked to just me and with Derek about it, and that is... Don't use too many words when very little will suffice. Wow, that was a long-winded way to get around that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, word conservation. Word conservation. Um, but that's just kind of, that's not so much a mistake. That's just how you work out material. Sure. Uh, and but, that's kind of part of the open micing process. Sure. That makes sense. Well, I hope that helps all of you uh, young comedians out, you know. Uh, but now we get to move on to the fun well, part. I hope it helps this guy out. I yeah. hope everybody else can eat my dick. <laughs> eat shit, Jeremy. Eat shit. They're not on vacation, oh, Scotty. Okay. They're listening to this at work and stuff. <laughs> right. Uh, we get to move on to the fun parts of the show. We're going to kick this bad boy off with Never Have I Ever. Thank you guys very, very much uh, for doing Monday... I don't even, Monday, Tuesday, kind of, uh, we found out when Jeremy was going to be on, we figured we'd make a, a little post so you guys knew what to do, and uh, yeah, I th- think that was pretty cool, but Monday today. Monday can be any day, Scotty. It can be any day. Um, Just depends if you got a shovel. For, me having to fill in for Steve, I felt like with that, my whole deal about the puppy thing, I was kind of rubbing it in a little. <laughs> <laughs> You know what made and me I, think I, of that? Like, Munting? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what brought that up? Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, poor dog. Yeah, I mean, uh, munting is never not on my mind. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but with that, uh, today when I was writing the episode, uh, naturally Facebook and Instagram went down for like an hour. So when I was writing the episode as fast as I can, I only got usernames because it wouldn't work. So this one comes in from Travis Thrapp. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever received a hand job under the table during an episode of the show. Scotty can't keep his hands to himself, so that is... They're up here! 
The whole time. Oh, there's plenty of episodes and where you're su- jacking me off. No. Surprisingly <laughs> long arm too, because he can get one over here and one yeah. down there. Sometimes it's not even with his hands. Sometimes he's just doing it with his eyes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's a fucking meat gazer. <laughs> that that is weird. You know, you you hear about somebody like undressing you with your eyes. Scotty gives hand jobs with his eyes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, I I know I have never gotten a hand job uh, on while doing the show. Uh, JP has tried uh, multiple times <clears throat> whenever he's sitting in the middle to go skiing. Though I know that for a fact. Uh, next one, uh, never have. Well, a- you're a snowboarder, so that's pretty good. I know for you. that's right. You just yeah, you can so, teach him a couple uh, things. Uh, yeah, huh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, next one comes in from Gator Hater 9 He wants to know, never have I ever recited an entire movie while watching it with friends. I'm a dick. I'm an ass. I'm a prick. I'm a piece of shit. Yes, I have done this. You fucking prick. I, 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 it, you don't do it. Don't fucking do it. Yes, I've done it. It was Cool Runnings, and it was over at a friend's house, and I, yeah, don't do that. I don't think we would have got through the first 15 minutes of it before I'd been like, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. And you, and you, you want to do you do that because you want to show them that you know this movie word for word. At that point, I would recite every Samuel L. Jackson <laughs> line at you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Speaking of Samuel L. Jackson, Jeremy, I thought of a good prequel. Oh. Yes. Okay. Snakes going through TSA. No. Oh, there yeah. you go. Like That's it. good. I like I it. I like it. <laughs> Pre TSA. <laughs> <laughs> Snakes. <Yeah. laughs> nice. Uh, but no. So you have never done this, I'm assuming, there, Derek. N- fuck no okay no i usually am the guy that's like watch this part <laughs> yes okay i'll do that okay that's that's fair. it that's fair how about you jeremy <clears throat> i have but it's while watching it with other people who also are reciting the movie okay me me and a cousin of mine used to do this with fletch oh yeah that's a good old one it is mm-hmm. it's not that fucking old i <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Chevy Chase was a lot skinnier and younger. Just saying. We all were, Scott. <laughs> yeah, we all shit. were. I'm getting up there, too. I'm in the best shape of my life. That's good for you, buddy. <laughs> I'm definitely not. Uh, all right, next one. Peak comes, physical condition here. Right. Uh, next one comes in from Wesley Rackley. He wants to know, never have I ever worn socks with, with holes in them all day. I've done it accidentally. I've done it on purpose. Have you really? I had the oh. pair the other or last week. The heel was ripped out. Yeah. And I was like, man, you know what? I'll get one more wear out of these. And then I'm going to throw them away. Yeah. No, if they got if they got a hole, I, my, <clears throat> I get so uncomfortable with my feet, I have to have new socks on. So no. Jeremy? What's he mean by all day? Like all day with like knowing you have a hole in your sock. I mean, once I'm at work, I really can't do anything. I didn't bring backup socks. <laughs> you don't? Is that a thing? Yes. And so is backup underwear. I guess you probably keep a roll of socks down in front of your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Only got to make people think you got something. That's true. Um, no, and and here's the thing with me is that I work, you know, drilling through metal and shit all the time. So there's these little metal shavings, slivers, and splinters all the time. That if I had holes in my socks, because it gets down. Oh yeah, in my fucking shoes. If I had holes in my socks, that'd fucking kill me (laughs) jesus christ yeah that would suck uh next one comes in from zach olkowitz i believe is how you pronounce that uh he wants to know never have i ever gotten so drunk you started speaking in a different accent yes i did what was the irish down syndrome no i mean close it was close i was uh i was trying to convince a uh a metal like a cover band in uh, in Colorado one time. Did I manage at it? a bar? No, I don't think so. But they were like a Metallica <laughs> cover band, and I acted like I was from Ireland, and I tried to convince them that they needed to go over to Ireland and play their stuff because they were really good. That's uh, that's funny. Yeah, story. that's that's g- tard Gaelic right there. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, you something. Yeah. How about you, Derek? Uh, I. N- I wasn't impersonating anything. Or not, <laughs> I wasn't being an imposter. I was impersonating. Uh-huh. Uh, I was in Vegas, and uh, it was the day I drank for 23 hours straight. Ooh. And uh, I know if I would have known that I was like an hour away, I would have just kept, I would have powered through it. <laughs> right. But uh, there was a, an Irish chick there, and I told her that I thought I could do a good Irish accent. <laughs> and she was like, let me hear it. This is going to go well. <laughs> she was like, let me hear it. And I was like, no. 
<laughs> she was, by the way, uh, she was fucking smoking hot. And uh, she was like, let me hear it. And I'm like, no, no, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to do it wrong and offend you. And she's like, no, no, let me hear it. And uh, she was like, I think I can do it. An okay, American one. And I was like, let me hear it. And I'm like, okay, now I know what she means. Yeah. And uh, she she was like, oh, man, that's awesome. <laughs> or something. And I was fucking dying laughing. And then I did my Irish accent, and she actually told me where my Irish accent is actually from in Ireland. <laughs> She's like, that's, that's Northern Ireland. That's really good. And I'm like, ah, see, thank you. Well, that is something that people forget that yeah. just like here, there other countries have different regions. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's a whole bunch of different British accents. For sure. They yeah, are. they're all assholes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every one of them, it just comes from a different part of the rectum. <laughs> <laughs> just one, one's a little more pompous than the other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Uh, you going to ask me if I have? Yeah. Uh, Jeremy, what, what about you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Uh, I mean, I'm sure that I have, but it wasn't because I was drunk. It was because I was intentionally yeah. talking in a different accent. I do that sometimes. Oh, fine. All right. And last one. This one comes comes in from Cody Adkinson. He wants to know... I'm sorry, Adkisson. No N. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever worn green boxers on St. Patrick's Day, so if someone asked where my green was, I could pull down my pants. No! Fuck no. No? No! Absolutely not. I always have like green on every time. I don't have to do that. So, Derek, uh, no, but I did have an ingrown pubic hair that I let get infected so I could <laughs> oh, do that. Oh, that's disgusting! I, I, I let it go a couple of weeks, oh. and then when someone asked me where my green was, I just oh, that's gross. Oh, that's so mm -hmm. disgusting. How about you, Jeremy? Do you want to uh, see it? No, I'm working on it right now. No, we got two weeks till St. Patrick's Day. No, buddy. I do not now, nor have I ever given two shits about St. Patrick's Day. Uh, yes. It has never... I, you can drink like a lunatic on any day. <laughs> yes. You don't need this. And if people actually knew the real reason, the actual... The purpose of St. Patrick's Day and what St. Patrick represents, they may not like it all that much. <laughs> yeah, probably. Nothing to do with snakes. Mm -mm. Snakes don't live on Ireland. <laughs> no, they're going through TSA right now. <laughs> they right. are. They're, yeah, we're trying. Yeah, to they bought their plane tickets. <laughs> they're, they're heading that way. Too cheap for pre-check. Did uh -huh. you pack your own bag, Mister Snake? <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, yes. Well, that was never have I ever. Now we get to move on and to. It was horrible. Who are these fucking people? Oh, there so are all kinds you're, of you're telling me that Instagram shuts down for like an hour and the whole like never have I ever thing goes to shit? No, I think that's there was a lot of good. No, ones not one of them was <laughs> worth a fuck, and all these people should maybe go do something bad to themselves. <laughs> oh my is god, all I'm saying. Oh, it's terrible, Jim. Every goddamn one of them. Oh, fine. Well, now we get to move on to that. Thrap. I like him. Okay. Thrappy. Thrappy. Okay. That's what we used to call him back in the day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, that's a uh, that's my new thing with my wife now. No matter what she says I'm doing in the moment, I always make up some nickname and tell her that's what they called me in high school. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here recently, I'm the gentle rent. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> people in high school would see me. Ah, Rince is here. <laughs> hey, big rinse! <laughs> Gentle. <laughs> GR, what's up? Uh, yeah, I can put the whole backstory for it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, shit. Just because right. I was gently rinsing off the dishes. <laughs> yeah, back in high school, they used to call me the gentle rinse. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Well, that, uh, now we get to move on to that's where I draw the line. Um, it's uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, first one comes in from Adrian Marquez. He wants to know, how long into a marriage do you start swinging with other married couples? It was about three years before I beat the shit out of my buddy's wife. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> she fucking looked at me cross, and I was like, bitch. Yeah. Trying to impress her with my Irish accent. <laughs> she didn't fucking find it too funny. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, my answer is never. No, you never fucking do that. Uh, Jeremy? At least 20 years. I know that. It's, <laughs> That's good. I mean, I'm just now committing to her. That's right. 
Uh, smart man. Smart huh? man. Good for you. Uh, you next. Still be playing the field. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. 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 I, I've been playing it poorly for these last 20 years <laughs> by remaining committed to one woman. Yeah. Trying to get all the black tar neospore and throw away <laughs> <That's right>. trim. <laughs> yeah, like, I got a whole room full of boxes of their t shirts and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Next one comes in from Bradley uh, Hovland, and he wants to know. How much money do you need to loan a best friend before you start actually caring if they pay you back or not? Buck seventy five. <laughs> Jeremy's a cheap <laughs> asshole. Uh, I I'd say ah I'd say two hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks is mine. I think. Okay. What about you, Derek? My rule is if I don't have the money to give it away, then I don't have the money to lend it. Sure. So, I, I agree. So twenty bucks. <laughs> it's fair fair yeah uh let's see my whole thing is always if i give somebody money they better be putting it towards what they told me i was they were going to put it towards yeah i i caught somebody who does not know that i caught them after i gave them a couple hundred bucks one time because they said they were in such a horrible position and i happened to be getting gas at the quick trip later that day and see him walking out with three cases of beer and a two cartons of cigarettes oh that man really pissed me off oh i'm sure how much fucking gas money did you give <laughs> i gave him 200 bucks this has been <laughs> what, he, what, a, he a semi truck this a couple of years ago <laughs> i didn't say gas money i he, thought you said gas no he was uh saying he was in a bad spot saying oh, okay. he was in a bad <laughs> spot he said his, gas. His, his, and i was like what uh well, yeah and he does drive a semi truck it's that guy from san diego <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I kind of had a very similar situation. Uh, I had uh, like a distant cousin of my wife's ask. Uh, How distant was she? Don't care. Uh, but, but basically asked her grandmother for like a thousand dollars and uh, kind of said the same thing. I'm in a bad spot. Uh, she then took that thousand dollars and got a thousand dollar tattoo on her leg. That was oh. very huge. Yes. Uh, that's what. They decided to do with that kind of was it a nice one though not really huh yeah it was a cover-up it was a cover-up of the other grandmother that wouldn't give her the money (laughs) yeah (laughs) like her face she went to borrow a thousand dollars she said no she's like i'm covering up that tattoo right now (laughs) other grandma can i borrow a thousand bucks i've got a tattoo in a bad spot right i i always like and we had this happen with a neighbor of ours uh where it was an older man all of a sudden starts driving this pickup that's like been lowered and it's got like chrome rims on it and a fucking fancy ass paint job and all this shit and my wife is like he's like almost 70 why does he drive that and i'm like because he co-signed on it for his grandson and then his grandson stopped paying (laughs) the fucking payments on it and so he took the truck what happened absolutely i've heard that before all right, next one uh, comes in from Ryan Peffer. He wants to know, how many times does it take for you to get cheated on to realize you're the problem? Um, you should never get cheated on. <laughs> that, And you should never cheat. Yeah, uh, that's fucking victim blaming. Yeah, exa- <laughs> exactly. Exactly. If you got cheated on, if you keep on getting cheated on by girls, it's not that you're an actual problem you're going for the wrong girls yeah, is, is my opinion you're you're uh having the problem that i had which is uh you attract sociopaths yeah exactly basically mm-hmm Derek. no i'm with that absolutely okay yeah, all right you should if you get cheated on absolutely. that's not your fault and if you cheat you're a dick so well it could be your fault if um, you're like hey this is my friend tom with a giant dick and he's naked i'm gonna go away for a while <laughs> like, then maybe yeah. maybe yeah uh, next one is coming in from Frankie Garcia. He wants to know how many losing losing seasons does your favorite team have to have until you switch teams or stop watching the sport in general? Derek, <laughs> I still watch my losing teams barely. No, I watched them. The Bears. I watched every game this season except uh, for two. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But how? So how bad do they have to get to get to that point? They were fucking terrible. Yeah. Especially in the beginning of the season. I know. So, yeah, there's. I still will watch. I may not buy the gear. Mm -hmm. I may not buy. Like, I'm not going to. I want to fucking. I want to buy a Bobby Witt jersey this year. I'm a Cubs fan first. Yeah, yeah. But I do root for the Royals. Sure. 
And I want to buy a Bobby Witt jersey so bad, but those jerseys are so fucking trash. Oh, my God. We I, didn't even talk about that. I will not fucking buy one. No. So I won't buy the gear. Same thing with the Cubs. Like, I won't buy – you won't see me buying a ton of Cubs shit until Ricketts ponies up and spends on the players, which yeah. he did sign Bellinger, but it's a terrible contract. Yeah. Um, so I'll still watch, but I'm not purchasing anything. Have you seen that, Jeremy? The the MLB baseball jerseys this year, the see through ones. Yes, yeah, yeah. I I'm would... looking forward to seeing some nips this year. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is supposed to be the the is it called the City Connect? I think is what the yeah. those jerseys. It's finally going to happen this year for St. Louis. And I was oh, what a really, bad year for that. To I, yeah, and exactly, and that's why I'm like motherfucker. This is the year that you decided to get fucking see through jerseys, and they're cheap. They're the same exact price. And they're shittier material. It yeah, makes no fucking sense. Didn't they they switched uh, provider or something? Didn't they the so, team, the company that makes them? Nike lets is letting Fanatics make the jerseys That's who it is. with their logo. So Nike's logo is still on the jersey, but Fanatics is producing the jersey. When okay, it, and it used to be Majestic. It was Majestic, and then it went to Nike, uh, and then now it's Fanatics. It was supposed to go from Majestic to Under Armour, but for some reason Under Armour backed out, and Nike picked it up, and now Nike's leasing their logo essentially to Fanatics. That's so and terrible. it's ass. It, it's terrible. you would think that Nike would at least get a say so in the quality control. Well, and all Fanatics is doing is Fanatics is just saying, "Hey, uh, no, this is we're we're making it to their specifications. That's all we're like. They won't own up. There's nobody taking any kind of ownership. They're gonna. I hope." That they just see that, like, fuck, nobody's buying jerseys this year. Oh, yeah, I want like somebody. The, to, I want to well, s- somebody to slide in face first and destroy their in jerseys. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Yeah. That's what I'm that, saying. That being said, I have said for years because I've worn several like authentic replica jerseys and shit, and I've been like, who thought this was a good idea for a July <laughs> afternoon? <laughs> Fucking sweltering polyester, just <laughs> smothering you. But so I've always thought that they. They could make them a little lighter, uh, but it seems like they went a little too far. Yeah, the other direction. Like paper they made mache. them out of tissue paper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but to answer this question, I I don't think I will ever stop like watching, um, or I guess necessarily rooting because they're bad. It's because of other things. It, it it ends up like for me, I was a St. Louis Rams fan when they were in St. Louis. Whenever they packed up and went back to L.A. I'm not rooting for a team in California, and that's where I had my spell of like 10 to 15 years of not having a favorite team. It's because they they left where I was really wanting to go and see them and stuff. And but I mean, being bad, I, I that's that doesn't that doesn't do it for me. So yeah, how about you, Jeremy? Um, it's not how bad they have to get. It's when there's obvious moves they should have made that they don't. Mm-hmm. And I never did switch teams as far as like with the chiefs i just stopped rooting for the chiefs i don't really have a team now now that being said i was a houston oilers fan all growing up and it was when they moved and changed their name from because they were the tennessee oilers for a little bit yeah uh it was pretty well when they switched to the tennessee titans that i did switch but in my opinion the houston oilers were dead at that point so i didn't really switch teams so much as just kind of chose the Chiefs as my default team. And I will pick them back up once Andy Reid is gone. <laughs> and he's going to the Hall of Fame as possibly the best coach to ever coach in the NFL. No. That's Bill what Belichick is. Well, these are also this is also coming from Chiefs fans. So oh, yeah. yeah. Fucking, you know. All right. They're uh, the worst. Thank uh, God for that parade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Last one. Uh, I like to think that that's what that was about, that disagreement was about whether or not Andy Reid should have been fired a long time ago. <laughs> uh, last one, where do you draw the line, comes in from Jeff Friedman. He wants to know, when does a person go from friendly drunk to angry drunk? Three double vodka Red Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Again, this is a shit question because it should be obvious. When they start being <laughs> fucking angry. I mean... <laughs> I'm just, if you can't differentiate between friendly and angry... I think you're misunderstanding the question. He's asking, what does it take for you to cross that line from being fun drunk to angry drunk? Well, I'm not misunderstanding the question oh. because it says, when does a person oh. go? So we're just talking about just a person in general. Yeah. You wrote the fucking question down wrong, <laughs> or he asked it like an asshole. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit of both. I like... Yeah. 
Uh, or you wrote it like an asshole. How about some black tar heroin? You think that'll probably do it? From a, friendly, from a friendly heroin addict to an angry heroin addict. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. I don't even know what an... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, typically when people are on heroin, they tend to get friendlier and more docile, I believe. Okay. That's whatever that guy was like, you've been more than helpful. <laughs> and I'm like, out. what I'm in su- the fuck is this? I'm yeah. surprised he could hold it together enough to get that out. Yeah, yeah. no kidding. Uh, for me, it's it's to, it's like ah, four glasses of, of tequila. That's That's what it'll do. So I don't it, know. I've seen some about four Lagunitas turned into a prick too. Uh, I think it was like eight. Okay. It, was, it was eight, but yeah. Jeremy, nothing. Um, here's the thing: is that I used to would get angry drunk, and it's been a long time since I have. And what I believe that it is is that there's a grain of honesty in their anger, like they're they have something that they're legitimately angry about that they've just lost their inhibitions once they start drinking yeah and it comes out so the fact that i scotty's is integration yeah ouch (laughs) and 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 immigration (laughs) and just minorities in general if if they're around scotty is angry (sighs) he doesn't even have to be drunk he's just foaming at the mouth like my fucking dog protect the border i'm just kidding uh anyway (laughs) but uh so I think what that means, the fact that I haven't gotten, become an angry drunk in a long time, never tried to fight anybody while I was drunk or mm-hmm. had a big fucking knockdown drag out with anybody, uh, tells me that I've become a happier person in general. Good for that you, I, Jeremy. That doesn't come out in me anymore. Good. So happiness. Good for now you. Now I'm getting married. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you yeah. are. Here it comes. Oh, shit. <laughs> Christmas tree rage. Mm-hmm. Not a band you managed. <laughs> oh, fuck. It is now. <laughs> Jeremy's playing the drums. Yeah, uh, I might get into a band. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, that is that's where I draw the line. Uh, for this week, but now we get to move on to a very popular part of the episode. This is actually Bad Advice with Jeremy Joseph. And the thing is, I may have accidentally recorded over... No, I didn't. I still got it. Okay. Uh, But yes, we did uh, have a Bad Advice come in for Jeremy this week, uh, and that is Danny Mars. He wants to know, Dear Jeremy... I coach high school baseball, and in the past years, we've really had issues with kids being ineligible due to bad grades. With the season starting soon, how can I make sure these boys don't start acting up and get their stuff taken care of? Okay, well, it sounds like you coach idiots. (laughs) That's typically the main reason behind bad grades. It's not that they're just not working hard enough. Um, They're fucking stupid, and you should tell them that. Uh, but if you really want them to get to straighten up and act right, I, there's something that, uh, I had experience with that has recently come back into my life. Two words that could really help turn this around for you. Prong collar. (laughs) (laughs) These are a a very, uh, common tool that, uh, people use to train dogs. They're a collar that goes around their neck with uh, prongs on them that are supposed to mimic a uh, larger, more aggressive dog's teeth to get them to settle down. Um, Now, there are thousands of training videos on how to use these appropriately, and so if you're ever going to use one on a dog, for God's sake, go and watch this, because otherwise you can really hurt a fucking dog if you don't do it correctly. But if you're going to use it on kids, who gives a shit? (laughs) Uh, Approach them. No touch, no talk, no eye contact. Uh, If... Put the collar on them. You're going to have to move them into your house to make a pack. You need to be the pack leader here. Okay? Get the prong collars on them. Get the leashes on them. They can feel your energy. And if you ever come to a time when they're not doing their homework, just be like, Tsh. that's that's all it takes. I've seen Caesar Milan do it with dogs a lot of times, and that sounds like about how smart your fucking kids are. <laughs> um, if you want my best advice on how to keep this from happening in the future, find a different school with smarter fucking players. <laughs> That's my best advice for you. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, you know what? I, I really hope that helps you out, out there, Danny. You know, that's uh, very important. 
you know, youngins and baseball and stuff like that. Every teenager should come with a prong collar. <laughs> sure. I sincerely believe that. Uh, yeah, especially. I mean, high school? Come on. Uh, but that was Bad Advice with Jeremy Joseph. <clears throat> now we get to move on to questions and pray guntas. This is actually Jeremy's favorite part of every single episode. It's great. It is close to the end. It is. Uh, first question comes in from Hunter0714. He wants to know rejected names for an STD. I think it's whatever uh, your cock kind of starts burping and it's called dick ups. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, I just put swollen cock, but that's something that everybody, that's an STD that everybody wants to get. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about that. Depends on how swole. I mean, pretty fucking swollen. Does it even lift, bro? I, it might. (laughs) 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 Taking it to the YMCA. (laughs) That's what the hole in the middle of the weights are for. That's right. (laughs) Exactly right. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, I don't know. Junk bubbles. (laughs) For herpes, I junk bubbles. Yeah. Okay. Puss pox. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Oh. What if you get them on your dong? Uh, penis pox, I guess. Then yeah. they're fun. Dude, dumps. that's my favorite cereal. Penis pox. <laughs> <laughs> nice big bowl of penis pox yeah. in the morning. Uh, I also did have beaver bumps uh, as well, so that's pretty close. Uh, next question comes in from Benji Varnum. He wants to know. What movie remake would you want to see with all little people as the cast? Oh, John Wick. (laughs) Oh, yeah. yeah, Fuck yeah. That that would be incredible. He kind of took my thunder. Did I? I went made the Matrix. I want to see a little person do the Matrix thing. Basically, all we want to see is little Keanu Reeves. (laughs) That's right. Yes. He can be in Point Break, the Matrix. Uh, That is weird because I said Bill and Ted's excellent advice. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Actually, I went with white men can't jump. (laughs) That would be good. good. Just a a black midget getting on a white midget because he can't jump. (laughs) Meanwhile, a black midget can just jump a little bit higher. (laughs) Neither one could dunk. (laughs) Are they just on one of those little Fisher Price rims? Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Nope, nope. Full size rim. (laughs) Out there playing street ball. It's fucking awesome. Hustling street ball for money. Yep. Uh, all right. Uh, next one. And it would still have Rosie Perez, though. Full-size Rosie <laughs> <Yeah>. Perez. <laughs> okay. Next one comes in for, I believe this is uh, Jeverhart or Heverhart69. Uh, he wants to know, what the fuck? If your sister has an OnlyFans, is it okay to take a peek? Well, I need to how, see the content yeah, I was gonna I'm say, producing. How, how hot is the sister? Well, Scotty's <laughs> sitting there going, whose sister doesn't have an OnlyFans? <laughs> uh, I mean, no, you don't fucking take a peek. It's your fucking sister, dude. Absolutely not. Derek? Well, I got to see the content I'm producing. Uh, okay, all right, that's fine. I got to see what I'm putting out. I want to make sure our viewers are happy. I was going to say, it is it is okay for you to film it for her, though. I think that's, that, yeah, that's yeah, what I'm talking about. Yeah, okay, all right. Uh, Jeremy? Okay. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong here, because I don't know exactly how OnlyFans work, but don't you have to pay yeah. to take a peek? So it's not like you can just stumble on that. You got to subscribe. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That's not okay. Yeah, it's not. Oh, boy. Uh, Stepsister, yeah. That's uh, acceptable, I isn't it? Well, I don't know. You've got a set. <laughs> that's <sister>. disgusting. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, shit. No, because that's what... Oh, you weren't on that episode. JP brought something like that up, and he's like, yeah, that's totally okay. Like, what the fuck? Uh, all right. Uh, next one comes in from Frost. He wants to know, if you could telepathically say something that all 7.8 billion people on Earth could hear at once, what would it be? Uh Give me a dollar. <laughs> no <laughs> shit. And then just like my Venmo or something. Oh, 100%. I think that's what I would do. And you know, even if it works on like 4% of the people, that's a win. That Yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah. I could uh, live happily. Yeah. Uh, fuck. Uh, oh, protect the border. <laughs> that's what I'd say. But I'm kidding. But yeah. How about you, Jeremy? Not according to the signs you have. <laughs> oh, all I, through your front yard and stuff that say protect the border. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm huh. not that guy. I'm not that guy. By the way, 
You are you, now. I that, put the fucking signs in your yard. <laughs> I fucking just about, I about burnt myself on the cross you have burning. <laughs> oh, dude, did you? Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Trying to roast marshmallows. On <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's more time. Any time can yeah. be more time, really. How funny would that be? Like, <laughs> like if there was some history photo back in the 50s when they did that shit, evil shit, and, and there's just one guy out there <laughs> roasting a marshmallow. marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of just guys, as huh? a, and I like to think it's the yard they did it to, just yeah. as a fuck you to those guys. Just, <laughs> just like, nah, fuck off. I'm going to roast a marshmallow. Abs- Kids, come on out here. Yeah, just hovering around it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be like, uh, it's Easter. It's a cross. Go right? get some peeps. We're going to roast them. That's right. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? What would I telepathically say to 7.8 billion people on Earth? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would say. Very good, Jeremy. Very good. Uh, all right. Next one uh, comes in from Nate Mancusi. He wants to know, what is something you should never touch with your tongue? I'm going to be real on this. It's, it's your dog. I, I don't understand people that, A, I've seen it happen where they lick their dog back or they open their mouth and let their dog tongue them. That's fucking disgusting. That Letterman uh, <laughs> stupid human tricks where, or stupid pet tricks where they let uh, some guy let a dog drink milk out of his mouth. That's disgusting. Ugh. Oh, it's so gross. I know milk is gross. Fucking lactose. Yes, no, that's a, that's a, uh, no. Uh, how about you, Derek? Oh, fuck. I don't know. Uh, a homeless man's foot. Okay. <laughs> uh, especially if he's got a hole in his sock. That, for yeah, sure. That's... Yeah. Jeremy? Green beans. Oh. <laughs> Without a doubt. Coconut. You know, the thing about touching your, your tongue to your dog, uh, my grandma always used to say, it doesn't matter what position you fuck your dog in. <laughs> it's always doggy style. <laughs> and I think that holds as true today as it did back then. Um, yes, it, it's, it's correct. <laughs> Absolutely, it's correct. Uh, last question comes in from Joe Gonzalez. He wants to know, rejected Easter mascots. The burning fucking cross in my front yard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that specific hard. one. <laughs> that it's one. It's out there burning bright right now for all to see. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Scotty made it funny. Uh, how are you, Derek? Uh, Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, fuck. And Jeremy? Uh, boy, you could really go with a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> I, when, I, when you said mascot, I thought you meant like... It had to be like a big, fluffy, anthropomorphic <laughs> animal. So I was going to go with the Philly fanatic. Um, yeah. He's busy elsewhere anyhow. He is, yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. And he's an asshole. Yeah, he or is. What's the the Flyers one that they... I don't... like some kind of controversy. Oh, gritty. Gritty, gritty. yeah. What was the controversy around that? I think it was just hideous. I think is what it was, or something. Along he just those looked lines. like an idiot. Yeah, but wasn't there like photos of him doing <laughs> something untoward <laughs> towards people, and the the angry look on his face made it? I can't <laughs> look remember. like he was doing something horrible. <laughs> I do not know. Ladies and gentlemen, that was. Well, thanks for picking me up, guys. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Uh, but uh, that was questions and preguntas for this week. Thank you very much for participating in whatever month day that it is. Uh, we sincerely do appreciate it. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. I get to win on a technicality. (laughs) Yay! I got dead last in the Chris Farley draft, uh, and that's okay. Uh, but um, So you went and made Steve's dog <laughs> sick. <laughs> it's like, man, dogs love chocolate. Oh, man. And you gave JP an extra shift. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what happened. Uh, but no, JP won last week's draft. Uh, I got dead last. But because I'm the only one here, I get the championship picks. Uh, Derek has been here more recently, so he gets the sandwich picks. And Jeremy <laughs> hadn't been here in a long time, so he gets the first pick. 
This week's draft is going to be actually kind of fun because it was suggested. It was actually a duplicated question that we've already answered before, but Derek thought it would be a pretty fun draft. So thank you, Cooper Bannon. Uh, we are going to do a draft of rejected go-go gadget gadgets or rejected go-go gadget contraptions. Uh, and so, Jeremy, you get the very first pick of this week, sir. Uh, high hurdles. <laughs> okay. Like it. I just can't imagine a situation where you need to do something and an obstacle in your own path would really help. <laughs> okay. That sounds good. Uh, Derek, what do you got? Well, it was my original uh, answer to that question, and I'm going to stick with it. Uh, stationary bike. <laughs> <laughs> in case you need to make a... <laughs> pretend you're getting to get away. <laughs> Okay, uh, I am going to take um, Go Go Gadget light up shoes, and then I am going to obviously take Go Go Gadget snowboard bindings. <laughs> All right, <laughs> just the bindings. <laughs> just the bindings. In case you happen <laughs> upon a snowboard with no bindings, <laughs> that's why. Just the bindings. All right, uh, Derek. Speaking what? of Derek, <laughs> I think we should. We could find a way to attach a snowboard to a stationary bike <laughs> and ride that fucker down a mountain. Oh, Absolutely. We need to do that. All right. What do you got? You know who could? Inspector Gadget. If he found that fucking snowboard, he could bind it to the snowboard. <laughs> As long as if he makes the snowboard, he makes sure when he uses the table saw, he pushes that thing all the way back. Oh, yes. That's right. Oh, a snowboard would fuck you up <laughs> for life. Oh, shit. Uh, all right. What is your second pick, Derek? Smoke alarm with a low battery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that may be worth something. <laughs> that may be worth something. That'll at least annoy him. You know? Whenever they were designing his suit, they told him, okay, you can either have the smoke alarm <laughs> or the batteries that go in it. You can't get both. I mean, we can make it with batteries, but they ain't going to be any good. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jeremy Joseph, you get two in a row. Uh, Chinese finger cuffs. <laughs> <laughs> that'll stop him. Yeah. Uh, and Oak Ridge Boys box set. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's not a single time that anybody ever goes, hey, do you have everything by the Oak Ridge Boys? Yeah. Uh, all right. Derek, what do you got? Abacus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gadget abacus. People aren't even going to know what that is. But I don't give a fuck. That's okay. They could come up with this high tech suit, but couldn't put a calculator on it. <laughs> God damn it! All right, I'm going to go with Go Go Gadget Kazoo. That was what I was looking for in the break. I was okay. looking for a, the kazoo. So if you've been oh, watching yeah. us for a long time, there is a callback. Kazoo's is badass. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you got me with uh, the smoke alarm, but I still think this is a good pick. I'm going to go with the Go Go Gadget Metronome. Okay. Yeah. Know what that is. Got to keep time. You got to keep time. Oh, That's that thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Derek, what do you got? Uh, loom. L loom l-o-o-m what the fuck like is to that? make textiles yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure <laughs> <laughs> you could just shove a blanket in there but no i'm gonna have something that'll make a blanket <laughs> eventually <laughs> oh fuck Okay, uh, Jeremy. It'll make the shit that blankets are made of. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Jeremy. I'm going to lose this draft, but it's fun it's, for me. It's, this is fun. Jeremy Joseph, your last two picks. Uh, fungo bat. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when you're going to have to hit some infield practice, you know? <laughs> yeah. All right, turn two. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, and your last pick? Uh, cotton candy machine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Did they a... ever like cotton candy? Like, what? like way back in the day when everything sucked. <sighs> I think even then people were like, oh, cotton candy? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. I, I still like cotton candy. I mean, I'll tolerate it. It's better than circus peanuts. <laughs> yeah. But it reminds, not by much. Uh, it reminds me of clown pubes. Oh, a little bit. Yeah. Don't like cotton candy no more. Derek, what is your final pick? Uh, wiper motor for a 1997 Mercury <laughs> Sable. <laughs> Very specific. <laughs> well, and that's why it was rejected. <laughs> uh, and then my... Yeah, it's like, I can't drive when it rains. <laughs> <laughs> if I could just have a 1997 mercury sables wiper motor he I, had, could, I could get to gadget school he had to have that on there ever since western auto went out of business because <laughs> they're the only ones who carried it that's right uh i've got i've got a couple but i think it's not even original manufacturer equipment either <laughs> it's it is it is some aftermarket cheap jc whitney fucking brand he got it off rock auto uh -huh. yeah exactly um man I am going to go with the GoGo -Go Gadget condom dispenser is what I'm going to go with. My other choice. Are those novelty condoms? Yes. These are the okay. ones at the gas station. Not not just your standard condom. These no. aren't dispensing Trojans. Correct. These are, these are the glow in the dark. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I may even make it that. The, the glow in the dark condom dispenser. Shit, I just won the draft. <laughs> does, that mean, does that mean the condoms glow in the dark or the dispenser glows in the dark? <laughs> Both. You, you gotta make... Oh, Scotty. <laughs> There's not that much glow in the dark material, man. Ah, don't Come on. on. I don't think we have the technology for that. That's no. true. Oh fuck! My other my other pick was going to be the GoGo -Go Gadget T-shirt cannon. I like that one. You like that one? Yeah. That would actually come in handy. It would. That's why I didn't pick it. I thought toaster. Because <laughs> you know, whenever you, you you just you're out and you don't have a toaster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're like, hang on. Well, if they jump in a, a small body of water, yeah, yeah it's yeah. possible. Well, uh, I mean, it's on his person. It's not plugged in. <laughs> oh, don't, good point. Don't be a fucking asshole, Scotty. <laughs> well, what if he brings... We're, we're doing a serious fucking draft here, and you're fucking around. Bring an extension cord. That could have been a pick. Go, go, gadget fax machine. There you go. That's good shit. Go, go, gadget pager. Trench coat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Out of this trench coat comes a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, shit! That was a lot of fun. I really, I really like oh, that. Oh, we could draft. do that all day. We could probably, probably. have ten a piece. Yep, because um, there's a lot of just stupid shit. Absolutely, there are. Uh, but anyway, as, as I have said, I, I tried to make a bit out of this and never really could. But the old saying that if necessity is the mother of all invention, somebody explained to me the switchblade comb. <laughs> <laughs> I have one. <laughs> Why am I not shocked? Right. Uh, I, I mean, okay. <laughs> who needs to deploy a comb in that manner they will fit in your pocket anyway you don't need to fold them up <laughs> yeah but they'll it's really cool it's kind of like these pins jeremy you see these pins? is it yeah see like that no see? that is badass <laughs> but but like a switchblade comb what if you need a switchblade and you pick the wrong one that day <laughs> then well, you're going to be styling when you're dead that's, yeah that's true <clears throat> I yeah. guess there is an upside to everything. There is. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen. You know, when you get in a rumble? Yeah. Yeah. I'm always getting in rumbles, Absolutely. guys. Ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's draft. You can go and vote on Facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or uh, LOT sidelines on X. Um, yeah. Have fun doing that. Whoever wins, I don't know. They're not going to be here next week. So uh, I'll probably win again next week. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, but anyways, guys, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right. Uh, are you guys familiar with a mountain called Huascarian? 
Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course you are. Yeah. Uh, Scotty, I know you love mountains. I know you love snowboarding. You're going to love the shit out of this. Great. Uh, it's a it's a uh, mountain in the Peruvian town or near the Peruvian town of uh, Yungay. And in 1962, the north face of it was discovered to be very unstable. However, the government chose not to really warn anybody or tell anybody about it. In fact, just ensured them they should just stay right where they're at. Well, uh, May 31st, 1970, an earthquake dislodged a glacier and a huge snow mass. And as it surged down the hill, it mixed up with a uh, bunch of dirt, basically turning it into a huge mudslide. This took out not only the city of Yungay, but also uh, 10 local villages that surrounded it and killed approximately 30,000 fucking people. Uh, luckily, because of the high death toll, the injury toll was still pretty low. Um, <laughs> because basically you were either dead or not. That was it. It's like no one's ever been injured in a plane crash. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And uh, I don't know why people don't tr trust their government. I, yeah, uh, yeah. Seems like this could have been avoided. I mean, probably not the uh, the mudslide, but the uh, people being in its path maybe could have moved out of the way or something. I mean, you know, just step out of the way, right? right That's all yeah. you got to do gotta yeah. for a mudslide. Yeah. But anyway, uh, now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Probably some water, too, and dirt. <laughs> <laughs> but mostly Legos. In fact, you can just scatter the fuckers all around. <laughs> Legos, at least Peru has good coffee. <laughs> How do you think you would have held up on your snowboard? Do you think the bindings would have held? Well, depend. Yeah, I think that would have been fine. I, if I was out running the uh, the avalanche, I might have made it. 62 and a half miles an hour, dude. Pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you could have too. In fact, next time there's an avalanche warning, I'd like to see you on that. <laughs> okay. Deal. Just to show them. Yep, Anybody right. who says you can't fuck those people. <laughs> that's right. You show them, Scotty. Uh -huh. You drag your fucking bed right uh -huh. out in front of their TV and fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Just some hot. He doesn't get tired. <laughs> I mean, you'd think, we're just sitting there going, oh, he'll wear himself out here in a second. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, if anything, he just kind of moves his body to a different position so we get a little different angle. <laughs> He's got one back leg up on the coffee table. <laughs> yeah, just. yeah. <laughs> he fucks everything. <laughs> I love him, but he fucks everything. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather have a smoke alarm with a battery that you cannot change, or would you rather have your sister find out that you subscribe to her OnlyFans? Subscribe. Pay money to see your sister. You'd rather find out? Fuck no. I'm living, I'm taking the smoke alarm and it's not even close and then I'm ripping the fucking thing out of the wall. No, you can't. You can't rip it uh, out of the wall. This is this this is brutal. This is so fucking brutal. But I'm going with the goddamn smoke alarm. Derek, well, let, let Jeremy go. Okay, Jeremy. I think I could explain it to my sister. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's like Chinese water torture for your ears. It's, <laughs> it is. It, you're just anticipating the next one. <laughs> yes. And it's all you can think about. And even though it's just a little chirp, yep. every so often. Right. It, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm watching my sister. You know what I think would be really bad <laughs> is you subscribe to an OnlyFans that you don't know is your sister, and then you hear the chirp <laughs> of the <what> fire <laughs> alarm that's and realize, I mean. shit, that's in this house. That's my <laughs> fucking sister. <laughs> Oh, shit. All right, Derek. How about you? Yeah, I'd go with the OnlyFans. Oh, my God. My dog, when that fucking chirp goes off, <laughs> there's no sleeping at this point. And mine always will start at like 3 in the fucking morning. Oh, yeah. And then she just goes fucking insane. She will not sit down. She is running all over the bed. Uh-uh. That means not only is the smoke alarm <laughs> fucking chirping, I also am not going to get any sleep mm -hmm. on top of that. 
Right. So, and I can at least tell my like, I, I'm just making sure there's no creeps on there. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's no fucking weirdos. Yeah. Anything like that. I only oh. came like once. I'm just taking <laughs> an interest in what you do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to support your Yeah, hat. there yeah. you go. I'm yeah. supporting you. Like That's my all parents good. when they sit front row at my comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> or, or when my brother tells my aunt and uncle to listen to this podcast. <laughs> Just look at it as, it as I'm giving my nephew lunch money for the week. All right, yeah. exactly. Oh, God. Ugh. I'm not watching it. I'm just making sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. If your sister ever needs to borrow gas money, just be like, I gave it to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Maybe she can lend me the money to change the batteries. Oh, God. I'll start paying you some gas money when you start putting on a better show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in to another great episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast with the original crew. It's always fun to have you guys out. I know Jeremy works a lot, and so I know it's tough, so thank you very much for filling in when you can. I appreciate that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, and also, Derek, I uh, appreciate you, too. I had a good time with you. Man. Yeah, it was yeah. cool. Uh-huh. Anyways, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate you as well. Thank you very much for uh, you know telling people about the show just, that not just not your relatives. I mean, what do you? Why not? Well, I mean, they can tell their relatives. Oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, just don't tell mine. <laughs> that's right. Because more than anything, I don't want them supporting the show. <laughs> I don't right. want your numbers up. That's right. <laughs> he wants them to right, stay right where they're at or go down. Uh, but anyways, guys, seriously, thank you guys guys, so very much for doing what you're doing and uh, sharing the TikToks, all of our content. We sincerely do appreciate it. And as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope you get stuck watching Cool Runnings with Scotty and gets <laughs> drunk and recites the whole thing in a <laughs> shitty Irish accent. <laughs> if you don't like us... Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. Get on open the bulb slit time. <laughs> Until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We'll see y'all later. Take care.